answered the quest, answered the before because we had the um, spirit, you know, the spirit influence. Yep. If you if you got a spirit there and you're sort of blaming him for for um, for setting you up, setting you up or whatever. <laughs> yep. Um, well, that spirit you've attracted him because he's got the same emotional injuries in yes. the first place, eh? Hey? Yes, that's right. Okay. So you can't go blaming spirits for setting you up and saying, oh, yeah, I have sex with five women this week, but it was all the spirit's fault, right? <laughs> he doesn't make you get up and do it, you know what I mean? But you'll only attract the spirit who's got the same emotional injury. Exactly, you exactly. You don't get a spirit that's going to make you do something else that you don't want to do. Exactly. Remember, the law of attraction operates in order to heighten your emotional condition in order for you to deal with an emotion. That's how the law of attraction works, right? It's there to expose your emotion back to you. So... 20 spirits around would be better than one either. <laughs> right? Because that will heighten your emotional condition even further and you might deal with the underlying cause of emotion. So I don't see spirits as a problem in the interaction. I see spirits as part of the solution to the interaction because the law of attraction is operating perfectly. So you, if, a, if a spirit who's in a sexual, like manipulative condition is attracted to you, it's because you're willing to be manipulated sexually. Right. It's just because of that. It's no other reason. So let yourself feel that. When you feel that and release that, that spirit will say, oh, he's not able to be manipulated sexually anymore. I'll go and find someone else. <laughs> because the spirit wants to have the sexual interaction. So he's not going to wait around for a week or two weeks or ten weeks for you to work, for you to change, particularly after you've just released an emotion, which means he can't manipulate you anymore. So he'll just go. Does that make sense? So if spirits are around you and you feel them around you, either leading up to the sex act or even during the sex act, which many people do notice, then it's because of your law of attraction. So let yourself feel what that feels. You might feel shame, guilt, you might feel, you know, lots of different emotions. So let yourself feel them. So if there's uh, spirits hanging around, if you have the sex with your soul, mate, does that, is there, you know, what about that? Does that it's the same, same thing. You've obviously got injuries or your soulmate's got injuries that have attracted them there and it's a matter of you feeling those injuries and working through them. Yeah, so if you just have a, what you think, normal sex with your soulmate, it doesn't really matter if there's spirits there or not. I mean, they've got to be there, are they? Or what? Um, <laughs> yes. Spirits are going to be around you wherever. They can be around you. But obviously they're not going to be attracted to you to get an emotion. See, most of the times they're looking for an emotion, they're looking for a feeling, they're looking for a physical feeling in their spirit body that they can't get where they are. Now, if you don't give it to them, then they're going to go and find someone else who does. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, so you don't need to give it to them. The way that you don't give it to them is by dealing with the emotion that causes the attraction and you won't be giving it to them anymore and so they'll feel bored. So they'll see you having sex Right? But they will no longer be emotionally or physically or sexually connected with the act. And so they'll feel much more drawn to go to somebody else who they can be emotionally and sexually connected with the act. And eventually, if every single person on earth was in that state, no spirit would hang around on the earth waiting for a sexual connection. Because they would just know, oh, it's impossible, I'm not going to get it here. And they would have to deal with the emotion at last. Does that make sense? So that's where we're headed. And that's why a lot of spirits don't like it. Right? 